What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use numeric operators. So let's get started. Now this is the code we used in my last tutorial where I showed you guys how constants work and how to use constants, right? So we kind of touched upon uh, numeric uh, operators a little bit. This is a numeric operator here, this is the plus operator, so this adds uh, these two values here. So I'm going to show you all the other numeric operators, but let's uh, refresh your memory. Now in this program here I initialized a variable which I called red and red has a value of 5, right? But down here I use the statement here. I, in the statement I, I said that red equals 10 plus 10, right? This is a numeric operator. This is the plus operator. So and, and underneath that here I have the system that out that print ln and, it, and inside the parentheses I have the variable red so it'll print the results of variable red so the variable red should have a value of 20 so 20 should print on the screen so let's test it out I'm gonna hit run here as you can see 20 prints out on the screen so that's the plus operator so let's try another one let's try minus the minus operator is this negative or minus symbol here so now the value of red should be zero because 10 take away 10 should be zero so let's hit play and as you see, the value is now a zero down here. So now let's try another one. Let's try multiplication. This is the symbol for multiplication here. This star looking thing right here is the symbol for multiplication. So we know 10 times 10 is 100. So I'm going to hit play here or run. And now our variable has a value of 100 and they printed 100 down here. So let's try another one. Let's try division. Division is this uh, forward slash symbol here. So this forward slash symbol is divide. So 10 divided by 10 should be 1, so our answer should be 1. So let's hit play again, and our answer is 1. All right, finally, there's one more. There's this uh, symbol here, this percent symbol. And uh, this is uh, the remainder symbol. So, all right, so this would only print out the remainder. So 10 uh, divided by 10, there is no remainder, so it should print out a 0. So let's hit play, and it printed out 0. Pretty neat, right? So I'll show you how that works again. Let's let's give it a remainder. Let's say three divided by ten, right? So I'll put a three here. Let's hit play, and it should have a remainder this time. When we hit play, now it has a remainder of one, right? So that's pretty cool, right? So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more tutorials like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.